Today I'm going to talk about capturing output tables from SAS Visual Forecasting 8.5. Perhaps you knew that there were a number of output tables created, but you might not have realized how easy it is to capture those tables. The output tables include the table out for, which has forecasted values generated by the modeling strategy, things like actual value, predicted value, standard errors, confidence limits. These are the types of things you see in your forecast viewer graph. The out model info table has information about the selected forecast model, like the model type, if a trend is there, if inputs are present, if events are present. Some of these attributes will be a one zero. So for example, input inputs present will be one if they are present, zero if they're not present. The out select table has selection statistics from the selected models. This has all of the same attributes as the out stat table plus selected status and model label. The out stat table has statistics for just the current model and these statistics include things like the number of observations, root mean square error, mean absolute percent error, Akiiki information criterion and Schwartz Bayesian criterion among many others. The out sum table has summary statistics for the dependent variable. These uh, include things like the mean, min, and max value of the series. Now the merged attributes table has all of the user defined and derived attributes in the project. And the outlog table has information on the log messages. So here we are in visual forecasting. I've already created a pipeline. See my earlier blogs if you need help with that or take a training class if you have not, do not know how to create a pipeline in visual forecasting model studio. I can see that I have model generation for ESM and Aramax models. I'm going to right click on my auto forecasting node. You see I have uh, the option to get my results. When the results open, they open in the summary tab, but I'm going to select the output data tab. Here I see my tables, the out for, out model info, out select, etc. I'll select my out for and my view output data. We have time ID values, actual values, predicted values, lower and upper confidence limits. Notice we see nothing under the predicted values and the confidence limits for the first year because this is a seasonal Aramax model, so that means we have 12 month lags. I can use this icon here to manage my columns. And let's say I don't want to include, for whatever reason, my variable name. I can remove that. This only removes it from the display. It does not remove it from my table when I go to save or explore that table. So now let's go to saving that table. I select out for and I can either save or explore and visualize. Likewise, I can right click and either save and explore visualize. These do the same thing. So I'll use the icon to save this table. I'm going to put it in my cast user with my username. I can see here at the end of the automatic table name, it ends in out four. I'll save it. And I see it was saved successfully. Now where do I find that? I can go to data, my manage data, which is my data explorer, SAS data explorer, and look under data sources. And I can go to cast user and search by out. I'm going to refresh to make sure I have my most recent results. And I see here at the timestamp that I'm working right now, I have the table. Now, I may notice that this table is not loaded. So let's see what happens if I try to use it. I can go to my SAS Visual Analytics using this hamburger icon here and selecting Explore and Visualize. 
I can select to add data and go to data sources, cast user, search on out. And here I see my out for data that I just saved. I can select this and I can try to bring it in, but notice this OK button on the bottom right is grayed out. Why is that? That's because these data are not loaded. The data must be loaded into CAS. So let me go ahead and right click on this data set and load. So now you see this little icon here has the lightning bolt. So my data are loaded. So they're ready to bring in and I select OK. Now that was that easy just to bring in my data. For example, maybe I want to look at time ID values and I'll select control and prediction errors, drag that onto my canvas and I see very easy to make a graph from this output table or do whatever I want now with this output table in Visual Analytics. So that seemed really easy, but guess what? There's actually, if you're just going to be using it in Visual Analytics and don't need to use it in another application, there's actually another way to just bring it straight to Visual Analytics without even using the Save button. So let's go back to our Model Studio. So here I am again in Model Studio, and this time I'm going to try my Out Select model information. And we have a lot of attributes here. So varial name regions, selection list, model, selected status. I can, you know, roll, use this roll bar on the bottom to go all the way to the right and see there's tons of these. So I'm definitely going to use my manage columns icon here. And I'll start by just getting rid of all of them, and then select the ones that I want. So I'm going to include, for example, my mean absolute percent error. I'm going to get my model and model label. So I'll select both of those using the shift key. Finally, I'll get my root mean square error. If I want to change the order of these, I can select, for example, mean absolute percent error and use this down arrow to move it down. Select OK. And now I have a view that just shows my model, such as the Aramax, ESM type, and my model label which gives a little bit more information about uh, the PDQ are included there, some of the inputs you can see. Uh, or for example, the Winters method, multiplicative was the exponential smoothing model used for that. You can see the mean absolute percent error over there on the over here. Now I'm going to bring this into Visual Analytics in just one step. So I can select this Explore and Visualize, Go to my cast user path of my own username. I can leave the name as it is. You can see at the end it says out select, or I can change the name here. But I'm going to leave it as is and explore and visualize. So you see it's opened a new report now, and it loads the data automatically. These are the out select attributes and all the information in that table. Notice that all of my attributes came in, not just the ones that I had selected to view. All of the attributes in the table are here. Let's see if I just want to quickly show how I can use these, just as I did with the out for table. I can select model, model label. Uh, let's say I want mean absolute percent error and drag those in. So you saw how easy it was to save your output tables from visual forecasting. You could use them anywhere. If you want to use them in visual analytics, it's very easy. You can just, with a click of a button, bring the whole table into visual analytics and it's already loaded for you. I'm Beth Ebersole from SAS. I hope this was helpful.